After six years, Notion Offline Mode finally dropped. This has been the most requested feature in Notion's history. So much so that it became a meme. Every time Notion releases an update, people just ask in the comments, but when offline mode? Well, that ends today because offline mode is finally here. And in this video, I will show you everything you need to know to start using Notion Offline. Now, first off, offline mode works on desktop and mobile apps. It doesn't work on the browser because obviously the whole idea is for it to be offline. So it works on the desktop and mobile apps, though they aren't linked together. So if you make some pages offline, on your desktop, then you also need to make it offline on your phone. So just keep that in mind. And with offline mode, you can have unlimited offline pages on the free plan as well. And then on the paid plan, you can also have Notion automatically download your pages. To make a page offline, it's pretty simple. Go into your sidebar, click on the three dots and just toggle on this available offline button. And then it will start downloading. You can also go into the page menu in the top right and then just toggle it on here as well. So as you can see, we've downloaded the pages. We can also click on this button, which will take us to our Notion settings. And here you'll see an offline tab. And this will show all of the pages that is available offline. You can also filter it by the pages that you've downloaded and also the ones that Notion downloaded for you. Because if you're on the paid plan, you have this option where Notion will automatically download your top 20 favorite and most recent pages. So all of these will show up here. Now, as you can see, even though we're still offline, we can change the text, we can change the formatting, we can even create new blocks, add new pages, create new database entries, change some of the database properties, and even leave comments. So you can even leave comments for your team and when you're back online, it will sync again. But there are some things that we can't do when we're offline yet. And this includes everything to do with the Notion AI. Also buttons, as you can see, it's grayed out. We can't use the buttons. We also can't make changes to formulas, relations or rollups. And we also don't have access to the files and media properties or anything that we embed into Notion. So anything that requires Notion to go online to pull information or big computational type properties like relations, formulas and stuff like that is not yet available in offline mode. But as you can see, we can still go ahead and create new database entries, though this database I didn't make available offline, so I can't edit the other properties, but I can still create the database entry, which will be grayed out. I can't use it unless the database itself is offline as well. But if we go ahead and turn back on the Wi-Fi, then you'll see that everything that we've interacted with and done while we were offline will now be synced and will be available online. And as you can see, it synced everything and now we have our database entry and obviously we can now change the properties. So basically when you make something like your LifeWise dashboard offline, it will download the page, but not everything inside. So you'll still need to go to the original source database and then download the databases if you wanna use them on the main dashboard view. So what would I suggest you do right now? Go into your sidebar and just download all the core dashboards that you're using and then go into your backend databases page where you store all of your databases. If you're not doing this yet, then you need to start doing this. But essentially just go into your actual databases and then download all of these offline. So you make sure that your dashboard is offline as well as every single database inside of that dashboard so that you can interact with it on that view. And then also if you have other dashboards, like for example here I have Mission Control, which is my project and task management. I would make this one offline as well. So all of your core dashboards you wanna make offline as well as all of the databases inside of those dashboards. And then once you've done this, your entire LifeOS dashboard should be working. All of the pages inside of them, all of the databases, everything is downloaded offline. And then what you wanna do is just do it on your phone as well if you're gonna use all of these dashboards on your phone. Otherwise, you just download the phone specific ones. Like for example, here in my LifeOS, link in the description, you have the phone OS page, and this one is the one that you use on the phone. So on my phone, I would go, I would open up this page, and I would make this one available offline, as well as the databases that the phone OS uses. So my task database, and also my finance tracker inside of my phone, so that I can use this on my phone when I'm offline. So basically, download the dashboards and also the databases that that dashboard is using. Now obviously offline mode isn't perfect yet, there are still some limitations, like for example, you can't download your entire workspace, or things like if you have a page inside of a database entry, and that database is offline, then the sub pages aren't gonna be offline unless you open them and also download them, which is kind of annoying but that's okay, like for a first release, this is all we need, this is perfect in order to actually get started with using Notion offline. 
and they are going to release these features and improve all of this in the future but for the first release this is all we need and yeah that's pretty much it for offline mode be sure to give this video a quick like if you found it useful and if you want to learn how to manage and organize your entire life with notion then check out my life always walkthrough that's on the screen now and i will see you there